Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm here with another video. And while I could talk about the Star Wars news that just came out, particularly about Project Luminous and the focus on the High Republic era of Star Wars, as well as possibly talk about the fact that Steven Spielberg stepped away from Indy 5 and there's speculation that James Mangold is going to take over the reins as far as directing that film. I'm not talking about those topics, obviously, for, for one thing, because I am so apathetic when it comes to Star Wars at this point that I don't really care. Now, I'm not exactly completely discounting the Star Wars news. I'm waiting to hear more about it before I actually make a final judgment on it, but I don't care enough to talk about it just yet. And Indy 5, my only speculation would be that, one, Steven Spielberg doesn't have his heart in it anymore, and two, it's probably a last hoorah for Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger before both of them officially retire in 2021 since Indy 5 is slated to begin production in a couple months or at least was slated to begin production in a couple months but we'll see but anyway I decided to kind of continue with the DC news or DC speculation and rumor and I found this article on Bounding Into Comics entitled Rumor Bane Solo Movie Being Considered at Warner Brothers and I it kind of piqued my interest because well, I don't like every decision Warner Brothers has made as far as movies goes, and I'm looking at you, Birds of Prey. They have, you know, made good decisions. Uh, case in point, the Joker film, a standalone film whose only real connection to the DC Universe is seeing Bruce Wayne as a child, the immediate Wayne family in the film. Now, and that's what I hope that they do with this film, and I'm going to go into this article and explain further what I mean by that. So, let's dive into this, shall we? Okay, more talk of Batman spinoffs, whether they tie in or not, is making the rounds online. Ever since Joker's success, Warner Brothers is speculated as wanting to duplicate that with another bad guy, and that would pique my interest. There are so many in the rogues gallery of villains that Batman has contended with that that Warner Brothers literally has a treasure trove of films that they could produce in the future. We got this covered. Do not take this site at all as gospel. Yes, a blind squirrel can find a nut every once in a while, as the saying goes, but this site, no. It's saying Warner is keen on giving Bane his own standalone feature, and they added the jacked-up mastermind would be played by a Latino. That's not exactly far off from Bane's origins, and while some could argue that that's, in a way, virtue signaling, uh... Bane, if you look at Bane, his nationality or his ethnicity is listed as Latino because we don't exactly know who his mother was. We know who his father was, King Snake, and King Snake is British, but we don't know everything, you know, a whole lot really about Bane's mother. So, uh, based on where Bane was born and his early circumstances, that she could have been Latina, and that's not exactly a stretch by uh, Warner Brothers standards of casting. An actor the site claims is being contemplated is Pedro Pascal, star of The Mandalorian and Wonder Woman 1984, who was born in Chile. His commitments and clearly the fact he is already playing DC villain Maxwell Lord could create conflict there, so unnamed others are on the list too. Yes, that could create conflicts. Uh, because uh, one, that would depend on his outcome from the film, really. Now, it's not exactly a stretch for the same actor to play multiple parts within the same universe, but at the same time, it's... I, he's a good actor, but I, don't, I really don't see him as Bane. It's all, the only thing going for him is the fact that he's Chilean. He would really, really have to bulk up to play this character. See, this is, sorry, this is uh, Pedro Pascal. Can you see him as Bane? I can't. He's a decent actor, but I cannot see him in that role. Okay. We got this covered notes and implication for Wonder Woman 84 if Pascal is cast for Bane. Max Lord might not make it out of the adventure alive, which is contradicted by Reddit spoilers we reported. I'm not going to go into those spoilers because I, anyone who wants to see the movie, I don't want to take anything away from that anticipation for the film. However, since you had the spoilers saying one thing and we got this covered claiming another, then we have no idea. So to say that he would... Um, be cast in the role is pure speculation at this point. And, in fact, as I said, I cannot see it. Alright. For that to be a concern, the Bane... <sighs> this site jumps on me. The Bane movie has to connect to Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot's continuity. 
that's most like unlikely if Warner Brothers wants to follow the same contained path as Joker. And I would love them to do that. Not every movie has to connect like the MCU does. Not every movie has to flow from one into the other. Not every uh, movie has to be a big build-up, so to speak, when, you know, uh, with the first three phases for the MCU, Once, uh, particularly once Kevin Feige stepped in. So we don't have to have this huge culmination into one epic showdown or anything like that. Just have another standalone film like The Joker, where the only connection is, uh, at least with that film, was seeing Bruce Wayne as a child. So with the Bane film, like maybe hints here and there of Gotham and so forth, we don't have to see anything that could connect into another film. Pascal is also rumored for Disney Plus's Moon Knight and Craven the Hunter. It would be interesting enough if he got either or both of those. He, he'd become one of the select few who... <clears throat> who have their feet planted in both the Marvel and DC multiverse. I have no real interest in either of those shows. I have Disney+, Plus, but I did the free uh, one-year subscription through Verizon, and once the year is up, I'm not renewing it. I've only really been watching it to see the classics and Pixar films. He could spend most of his time under a mask, like Tom Hardy in Dark Knight Rises, to mitigate any confusion, although it's not as if we haven't seen the same actor in two different parts before, no less in the same production, and... As I said, you know, here's an example. Brandon Ruth was face to face with himself as Superman and the Atom in Crisis on Infinite Earths, and their spinning image resemblance was touched on openly. Dave Batista is one more potential choice with all of the fan art of, of the Drax actor as Bane out there. Big Dave was at the Warner Brothers lot recently and may have had a meeting about the part. We don't know for sure. While I'm not exactly a fan of that Dave Batista as a person necessarily, he, of the two between he and Dave, uh, Pedro Pascal, is more of what I would think of for Bane. Bulked up, jacked up because of the uh, super strength serum, the venom that he uses to course through his veins to bulk himself up to super strength. And here's a picture of Dave Bautista in Warner Brothers lots in front of the Warner Brothers symbol, and that's where the speculation comes from. Bautista is not Latino, so that might rule him out, at least in this case, his background is Greek and Filipino if you're keeping score. I, if he looks the part, for me, I don't think it really matters if he's a Latino or not. I know that's what I said where Bane's uh, background is, but you don't exactly have to send out the casting net for specifically Latino. Just have him look like it. I mean, Tom Hardy, I mean, for Christ's sake, not Latino at all, and... While maybe a realistic-looking Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, nowhere near what we should have seen as Bane in the movie. Again, not Latino. A good friend of James Gunn, he could turn up in The Suicide Squad as a different Bane or someone else. The chances are slim, but anything can happen. Bane isn't the only Batman rogue uh, mooted for a solo film. We previously reported a rumor from We Got This Covered. Please stop using them as a source. Please. That two faces being considered for one standing separate from the DC Extended Universe as well. Other villain-centered spin-offs could follow. I it, I don't know how that would work exactly if the rumors are true about the new Batman film coming out with Robert Pattinson. How, um, while it's not confirmed or denied, the speculation is still surrounding the fact that Two-Face could be in the film. And the role played by Peter Sars uh, Skarsgård, uh, Kasten, could be a red herring or a pseudonym or whatever you want to call it for possibly Harvey Dent instead. I don't know. If he's not in the film, then this could work. I would also love to see a Two-Face film. Again, there's a rogues gallery of villains for Warner Bros. to choose from, and if they're smart, they'll take advantage of that, stay relatively, well, respectful to the lore, relatively comic book accurate. You don't have to have every detail down to the page of the character, but respect the lore, respect the character, give us good stories, and you have a treasure trove of films for DC fans, as particularly Batman fans. Do you want a movie about the man who broke the bat? Tell us uh, below. I would like to, I would love to see a, a more accurate version of Bane, even in a standalone film. Again, this is rumor, this is pure speculation, this is Going off of We Got This Covered, which is a site you do not want to use as gospel, do not use as truth, it's just rumor mill at this point, and that's just my two cents on the character. I would love to see Warner Brothers be smart for once and do something like this. You don't have to have every film 
uh, flow into another one or anything like that. You don't have to have a big buildup of a universe like Marvel did with their uh, cinematic films. Just give us good, uh, good versions, good movies of these characters, and you will be set for life, Warner Brothers. That's just my two cents. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think. Would you be interested in this film? Uh, tell me why or why not. Are you interested in the upcoming Batman film? Why or why not? I am anticipating that film. I'm giving Robert Pattinson a chance. He is shown to be a decent actor, and I'm waiting to see the past final judgment when we see an actual trailer. Because right now, all we're seeing are set pictures. All we're seeing is rumor at this point, and I would want to see confirmation on certain elements before I pass final judgment, as I said. But anyway, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share if you uh, so choose on social media. I am Mara Jade, and I'll catch you on the dark side. Take care.